Good morning. Oh, good morning, good morning. Today we are going to a uh, ride of respect ride. It's a bit quiet. So today, good morning, good morning, once again. Uh, we are going to Ride of Respect, which is in Wellington. It is a ride for um, all the marital, military personnel uh, who got killed or injured during the First World War and a little bit over the Second, but mainly First World War. And so uh, in New Zealand, it's called Anzac Day, Australian and New Zealand Army, something. Uh, so uh, what they are doing is they, uh, every year there is a big ride from Wellington, from the memorial, military memorial, um, somewhere around. And um, interesting thing is that uh, this mountain pass, which I have to drive all the time, uh, was the the major obstacle for the military to actually head out to Europe. So uh, where I live in Wairarapa, around Featherston was a massive, uh, massive military camp. In those days, in 1918, 1917, there was no road here. So all the soldiers um, had to cross this mountain pass on foot and carts or whatever they have available, which was a quite, uh, it's, from my home to the city to the harbor is about 60 kilometers. So, but it's over a mountain pass. So they had to climb over there and then jump on the ship for two weeks to go to Europe to fight Germans. So, um, hey, it was a bit of a uh, ordeal, but uh, these guys went over to uh, help out. They didn't have to. When they did, they left their families home and, uh, uh, went to help out fellow Europeans to um, get rid of the war stuff. So um, on the top, they made this uh, memorial. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it was only a few years ago when they made this memorial for the fallen soldier. There is a big memorial in Wellington where we're gonna go. Uh, I'm meeting some guys, should meet some guys down in a hut to uh, ride with them to the city and uh, we'll go from there together. Rimozakia Pass is a bit of a uh, cloudy, usually it's quite uh, 
uh, nice weather so you can see but I love it in all weathers look it's total white out you see nothing Usually you can see down in the valley, down to my home. Eh, no, not today. It's just pile of mist. How beautiful is that? Alrighty. See you on the road. here on the usual room attacker and no one's here we were supposed to meet 8 o'clock it's 10 to 8 but I thought people will be here earlier no one no one we might ride to the city by ourselves well by myself I'm not talking to myself in um, plural not there yet um, yeah I'll wait another 10 minutes maybe go have a kappa and uh, see what's happening See ya. This is the uh, war memorial in Wellington. All the bikes are here. The weather is pretty crappy, it's raining, but uh, it doesn't matter. This is a friend's bike. She even had a paint job built for this particular thing that's, I don't know, it's her uh, uncle or someone with the puppies. And this is the massive memo war memorial. National Wear Memorial in Wellington. It's a bunch of bells in there and every hour it goes off and such. But yeah, this is the, the whole event. I'll do some little video of the bikes and uh, as usual. And um, yeah, it's a bunch of different groups, different clubs came together. And um, uh, it's quite cool. Um, 
So this is the memorial. Yeah, not bad turnout. So um yeah, let's have a look. Everybody's braving the rain. This is the uh, big memorial thing. Bunch of steps. There is a cool building behind. Uh, do I want to climb all the stairs right now? Uh, let's do it. Jump, 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 jump. Nothing like warm up. Climbing stairs. This is the National Art Gallery and Dominion Museum, which at the moment it is used. I think it's used by university and uh, also for a venue. Wellington Tattoo Convention is housed in this uh, building, which is always good fun to come. It's beautiful. Now this is Wellington, perched between the hills. You can't really see anything because all the hills are in clouds. It is a pretty cool place. It's a nice city. I used to live here for 12 years. So uh, it's always nice to come. And the sea is just past its building, a harbor. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. So, um, from the beach to you, thank you so much for coming here. It's not only about our uh, loved ones that have fallen. Uh, this is Dave Knobley and his team from the Red <laughs> Knights in Cyclone. Time to go riding. at the uh, one of the city cemeteries to uh, give the thanks to the dudes and um, some banners and flowers down so we all came down here
right? That's it. I think um, from here they go into RSA, which is Return Services Pub, and uh, we're gonna peel off and gonna do something different. So this is the end of the big ride, and um, time to head home. Um, let's see. Let's start. Pissing down crazy. I can't see for shit because my glasses are still. Oh well, <laughs> I'm a little bit drenched. I was too lazy to put my jacket on. I just put the tents on, so uh, it's been um, yeah, pretty gruesome. Oh, I'm dripping. That's a cool thing, isn't it? Dripping. Anyhow. Um, I've been keeping hydrated because when I have my thing on the face, it gets wet and I keep sucking in water. So at least I'm hydrated while I'm riding. Um, yeah. So we made it home. The bike has been awesome. As I know she would be. She's the only one. Knock on the wood. Uh, doesn't let me down so far. As long as the tires are full. Um, so yeah, I hung out with the Kinsman boys, uh, rode with them, those are the fellas on the camera riding before and after and everywhere, and um, yeah, this was the Ride of Respect, um, so yeah, it is a charity event, it's all run by people, by uh, bike groups to collect some money for the families and all the stuff, so uh, I don't know the nitty-gritty of it, what's the, what's happening and where and how, but um, that's um, what it is. Well, thank you for watching. I will um, get dry, get a hot shower and make some lunch. I'm hungry. And um, uh, if you like these things, you know, the usual stuff, subscribe and blah, blah, blah. So do that. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.